Story tonight, dozens of people turned out in Omaha and Lincoln for rallies and demonstrations, calling on federal lawmakers to restore DACA. Today was the day President Trump ordered an end to the program that gives protection to young people who were brought here illegally by their parents. But the federal courts have held it up. Reporter Maya Sines was at tonight's vigil in Memorial Park. Maya? Yeah, Craig Jen, despite the cold temperatures tonight, dozens of people, including dreamers, volunteers, organizers, and some senators attended the prayer vigil to send a message to Congress. They support immigrants in Omaha. My family came to the United States from Juarez, Mexico when I was six years old. Today on the day of President Donald Trump's deadline for Congress to make DACA law or otherwise rescind the program that would affect nearly 3,000 Nebraska DACA recipients, dozens of people went to Memorial Park to support immigrants and refugees. We really want Congress to act and look for permanent solutions for DACA recipients, for um, TPS recipients, and well as to protect our refugee communities here. Many spoke on their fear of returning to a country they no longer consider home. It makes me very scared. Uh, it definitely gets my anxiety up my, and I get really nervous thinking about it because of the fact that I haven't been there in over 17 years. Um, I, I speak Spanish, but it's not the culture that I grew up in. Um, it's not the people that I've grown up with. It's not the people that I love that live there right now. Um, the people that I love all live here. This is my home. This is my community. Among the crowd were several temporary protected status recipients from Latin American countries who are fighting for permanent residency in the U.S., like Jose Manuel Molina from El Salvador, who was granted TPS 17 years ago after a devastating earthquake. We've been here since 2001 with TPS, and we work hard here and support the economy, both the countries and here in Nebraska, because this is home for us. Organizers and volunteers from several of the organizations who hosted the event handed out call to action cards, encouraging people to act and contact local lawmakers to urge them to support Dreamers and participate in the next elections. Reporting live from the studio, Maya Signs, 3 News Now. The Omaha DACA vigil was part of a statewide call to action with events also taking place in Columbus and Lincoln. A large crowd gathered outside the Nebraska State Capitol tonight. Together, the community stood in solidarity to support Dreamers. Several DACA recipients shared their stories with the crowd. I like to share my story, even though I kind of feel myself uh, in like a vulnerable place because I'm like coming out and saying what my status is. But I want people to know that this um, situation is affecting real people like myself. With the uncertain solutions and answers from lawmakers, Lincoln's rally focused on the theme Stop Playing Political Games. Nebraska Dreamers say they'll continue urging Congress to find a solution that allows them to stay here. In Washington.